Hi, this is Shubham from Monis to you and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about loan against a fixed deposit. Over here we are going to discuss about the meaning of getting loan against fixed deposit, limits, eligibility, latest available rate, advantages, disadvantages and bottom line. But before starting that if you want to read the full article about this then the link of an article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch the 90 second summary video of this episode then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monis to you. So let's start. When a financial emergency or cash current situation appears, we look for a funding options like a loan or other alternatives. Availing a loan against a fixed deposit rather than a personal loan is a better because the loan amount is normally up to the 90% of your FD whereas under normal situation as per current markets you can get a loan up to rupees 35 lakh for personal loan instrument. Apart from this the loan tenure of a fixed deposit is still the FD match rather than a personal loan which gives for a period up to 5 years. Besides, you can get a loan against a fixed deposit with a bank when there is a requirement during an emergency or unfrozen circumstances. Instead of breaking your FT prematurely, get a loan against an FT without further ado. Let's take deep dive in how and in what circumstances you get a loan against FD. Firstly, let's discuss what is this loan against a fixed deposit. A loan against a fixed deposit works in the same way as any other loan where the borrower receive fund in lump sum and repay in equal monthly installment that is EMI. It is a type of a secured loan in which a borrowers can avail of funds by pledging their fixed deposits as a collateral. This is where the loan to value LTV comes into play. Loan to value is an important it allows you to calculate how much money you will need in saving or to form your own pocket in the loan dependent on the FD amount. This can vary from bank to bank but normally it is 90 to 95 percent of a FD amount where the bank provide a loan it generally charge roughly about 2 percent points more than an FD rate. The interest rate of a loan against fixed deposit would be 9 percent if the interest on fixed deposit is 7 percent. Now let's discuss what is the eligible criteria for applying for this loan. Firstly it can avail by all fixed deposit holders where they are individual holders or with joint account. Second, they should be a resident of this country. Third, if FD is made in family trust, then that is also eligible. Fourth one, if FD is made for club, association and societies, that can also eligible. If there is a sole proprietorship or partnership or, or group companies, then a designated partner can apply. And in case of a HUF Hindu undivided family, the Karta family can apply. Now let's discuss the loan limit as per banks. The disclosure over here is while recording this podcast. As of 19 March 2022, these rates are based on the current quarter of the bank, but it can vary up to 1%. For SBI, you can avail up to 90% of your FD with interest rate of FD plus 1%. For HDFC Bank, you can avail maximum to rupees 25,000 with interest rate of FD plus 2%. For Bank of Baroda, the loan amount would be up to 95% of your FD with interest rate FD plus 1%. For ICICI Bank, loan amount is up to 90% of FD with interest rate FD plus 2 to 3%. For City Bank, loan amount will be 90% of your FD with interest rate FD plus 1 to 2%. For PNB, you can avail loan up to 85% of your FD with interest rate FD plus 2%. To summarize this, except for HDFC Bank, in all other major banks, you will get a loan with around 85 to 95% of your your FD with interest rate FD plus 1 to 2 percent. Now let's discuss what are the advantages of taking a loan against a fixed deposit. Firstly, a loan is secured against FD which carry a lower interest rate than the other loans like personal loans. Second, for a loan secured by FD, most banks do not impose any processing fees. Thirdly, loan against FD are simple to process and require minimal documentation. So it can available quickly. The fourth one is it is not necessary for you to break your FD for this current situation. The fifth one is the lender does not check your credit history. Your FD account serve as a security and which means that any default the bank will take over your FD. Now let's discuss what are the disadvantages of loan against FD. The first and major one is if the borrower fails to repay the loan, the bank can foreclose on fixed deposit to recoup the money lent. The second one is the tenure of a loan taken out. FD cannot be longer than 
the fixed deposits remaining term. Now let's discuss what is the bottom line over here. A loan against a fixed deposit is a very crucial way to raise a loan against own FD. In case of a need, the interest rate may vary from bank to bank and one should opt for a loan against FD on a risk appetite. But if you are going for a quick loan with a minimal period available in emergency time then the loan against a fixed deposit is a very good instrument. So thank you guys for joining with us. If you want to read the full article about this and the link of article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monistu. Thank you guys here Shubham from Monistu signing off.